What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I'm going to be going over some awesome new stuff that many of you might not know exists. We're going to be checking out Urban EDC Supply and Crane's Cutlery and highlighting a few specific things that I know certain people are going to be uh, interested in. Uh, thanks to my patrons for supporting me and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. Uh, as per usual, uh, I will link these pages right down in the description of this very video so that if you don't want to hear my voice and you just want to do your shopping on your own, you can do that. I'll make it easy on you. Uh, but if you want to uh, hang out with me and hear my commentary, that's definitely what I'm going to do. So Urban EDC Supply, a lot of you guys are familiar with them. They definitely have a lot of stuff that you won't find anywhere else on the internet. Uh, they also have some really pricey stuff, but they also have stuff that's not super pricey and is actually really cool. Cool. <laughs> really cool, like the Refine Bolt Action Pen um, that's titanium for about 90 bucks, which actually looks kind of neat. They also have $630 custom flashlights if you are into that kind of thing. Um, but uh, sometimes you'll find rare variants of knives like the Protec PT Plus um, in this gridlock uh, pattern with the razor, uh, that looks like razor wire Damascus to me. Um, but uh, yeah, this is a good place to come and check out. Uh, they have their own exclusives with the Sagaya pattern, which is actually one of the coolest texture pattern texture patterns that you will find on, you know, titanium and stuff like that um, out there. I, I actually really enjoy it. Um, the Lalima La Metal Craft Diamond Slim Aluminum. Uh, it's a custom aluminum flashlight. It's kind of cool. Uh, as far as custom flashlights go, if that's actually the case, that is pretty inexpensive. Um, but yeah, there's a lot of interesting stuff here, a lot of EDC center stuff. But there's a, a few things that I want to highlight. And one of them is the pre-order for the Minimalist. I actually received this knife, um, a uh, pre-production sample of this knife, just the other day by, uh, from my buddy Rye from Everyday City Carry. And um, I, uh, I very much like this thing. I, I got to be honest with you guys. Um, I don't normally enjoy the like, you know, we're going to take minimalist to the next level and make it nothing. Like normally I'm like, yeah, but then there's no personality left somehow. And I think when I unboxed it, which you guys haven't actually seen yet. Number one, the thing that I loved about this is that it was actually a full size knife, not a little tiny nothing like that's fine little knives are fine but i mean I, I was just i appreciated that this thing was eight inches overall three and a half inch blade and was actually a fairly hefty boy like not a chunky boy but just it it had some meat you know it had the girth that i like to feel in my palm five ounces for titanium transitioning aggressively away from that uh, or three and a half ounces for my Carta, um, and they will have a Sagaya pattern on these. Um, I handled a smooth titanium, just a standard boy. Uh, let's see if we can get it over here. This guy right here, this titanium boy right here, and I actually really liked it. Um, this is, I can't, <laughs> I can tell you guys right now, uh, these are made in China. Um, since they don't list the OEM, and I don't think we'll say, all I can do is guess. Uh, let's just say it's very, very premium and is very obvious who made it. And this isn't, you know, a call out to Urban EDC Supply. It's to the OEM who probably will never see this because the OEM is the one who decides who does and does not get to say who's actually doing it. Stop trying to hide it. Your work is so easy to recognize. It's pointless. <laughs> <laughs> I am I am 99.9% .9 certain I know who made this. Um, but it is a very nice knife. And I can tell you right now, the best, um, as far as value goes, this titanium one, the smooth one for $299, or I think the Sagaya pattern ones are, can we do, uh, so the plain Jane, I'm sorry. The tight, the plain titanium is 329, which I still think is fine considering who I believe made it. Um, or 349 for the Sagaya pattern, which I also think is great, right? I mean, you know, look at the pricing on the Chavez 229, which is a very similar overall build quality, right? 
Um, it's sh shockingly similar, the overall build quality. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, you have you have better pricing there. And um, I, the personality, I think, is in the taper of the handle, which is what I said when I unboxed it. Uh, I also really like that the pocket clip is short. I also like the size of the fasteners. Um, the blade shape, the blade to handle ratio, I think is also part of the reason that this guy looks so good, to me at least. Now you can go with the um, G10 versions um, or the micarta versions, um, but I don't really like, uh, you know, what's what's being insinuated here is, I, I assumed when I unboxed it is that maybe they do the G10 and micarta and they do a titanium liner. No, it's just a G10 front scale or a micarta front scale and you're being charged $25 less, which I don't really like. I think that should have been substantially less, or they should have made an entirely different version that was a titanium, a nested titanium liner lock with G10 or micarta on both sides, right? So that, you know, unless you're really all about G10 or micarta, or you just really, really, really want to save an ounce and a half, which I think is the weight difference, um, then I would just go with the titanium ones. But this is definitely one of the most interesting um, dealer exclusives out there right now that's on pre-order that I feel like not a lot of people know about. Um, so after having handled it, which you guys, if you want to wait and watch me unbox it and watch me handle it for the first time, then you can certainly do that. It's definitely coming up. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that people were aware of it right now. These Zach Wood pry bars are actually, I have not seen a Zach Wood pry bar in forever. So once upon a time, the Zach Wood pry bars were the most sought after. Does anybody remember this? This was like during the peak height of like pry bar stuff. And for some reason, there were a few different manufacturers, but the Zach Wood pry bars, uh, along with a couple of other makers, were like, you gotta have the, you gotta have it, the Zach Wood, right? Um, so they got a bunch of different variations here. Uh, pop and pry, slender, I'm trying to find, you know, one that I would, these are all about the same price. Okay, I kind of, I mean, if I was going to do this, then I, I would want, I'm going to just let you guys know, I'd, I'd want a bottle opener on it, right? Um, that's just what I would want. Um, do they have, surely they have pocket clips on the other side. Yeah. So if you're going to make an EDC pry bar, this is where you put the pocket clip. It's very, it's it's got the Strider style clip on it, um, which some people really like. Um, but you don't put the pocket clip on the outside of the pry bar. You don't do it John Graham, you know, Razzle style because it's not comfortable, uh, or you know, Vision R style from Snacks. Uh, some people will will say that it is comfortable. I would say that that is incorrect and it is not. It's an awkward carry. You put it so that you can carry it flat up against your leg. Um, and if I was going to carry an EDC style pry bar, I would want it to have more than just the pry bar because I, I don't know about you guys, I'm going to use the bottle opener a lot more than I'm going to use the pry tip, right? Um, so yeah, these are neat. Um, why are they so expensive? Well, I think partially because it says Zach Wood on it, but they are actually made in the United States, right? Uh, these are obviously not going to, not going to be for everybody, but they will definitely be for some people. So there you go. It's there. Beyond here, I don't think I've actually looked too far. There's a Zach Wood carabiner. We still have the Tactile Knife Co. Rockwall. This is the um, exclusive, the Urban EDC Supply exclusive in the Sagaya pattern. I think I've shown that before. We have some stuff that I think you guys will be somewhat familiar with. There's a $40 Lan Apple flashlight by Raylight for 40 bucks. I found that uh, my favorite EDC flashlights are the very small, like the i3, whatever from uh, Olight, the AAA, the single AAA flashlights. Those are my favorite. After after trying out, like I went through a, flash, a, a flashlight phase and I tried like everything. The small AAA flashlights are my favorite. This is the other knife that I wanted to point out here. Another knife, um, well, I haven't actually handled this one, but I feel like I could also guess maybe who manufactured this. But this is the uh, Segaya Pattern Micro Shrike, which if you like a smaller knife, you might really be interested in this. Um, I uh, I would like them to do, th what's what I really like about this, because I, I was looking at the pictures, they did the texturing on both sides. God bless all that is good and glorious in this world. Why? Hey, hey, stop. <laughs> 
Stop. Go back. Wait, why don't why don't more companies do this? It looks so good. They even texture the lock bar. It's so nice. Yes. Urban EDC supply. If there's a larger version of this, like bring that back. Because I'll I, I want this. This is a really nice looking knife. Um, but I love like that they if the freaking thing would just stay. That looks so good. Ah! Why? Why does it not want me to look? <laughs> Come on! Come on! Dude, are you kidding me? Now you don't want okay, just stop. There we go. This is so nice. Milled clip too. See how I've, they've milled a parameter around this uh, pattern here. I love that pattern. I think that's a really nice pattern. That's really cool. I want a full size version. I want an eight inch version of that. I think that's really nice. So that's just sitting in there. That's just available. And they also have it in micarta. And brown micarta for $25 less. But get if you're gonna do the shrike, go with the textured one, right? They've also got this, the the Matsy Basilisk Sagaya engraved. Let's take a look at this guy. 389, probably also that same OEM that I assume. What's the size on this? A little bit bigger at seven and a quarter. Again, I'd be a lot more interested. You get they textured both sides. It's really cool. Almost Vero style on that side. Um, they, uh, they texture both sides. It's really nice. I just kind of want a bigger version of it. We, they took us right back to the top. So we're going to go back down. I think I'm going to finish this, um, page out and then I want to switch over to Crane's Cutlery because they got some stuff over there that I definitely want to point out. Just trying to keep track of where we are here. <laughs> Baby Barlow, diddle, 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 do. Some more pens, Nottingham Tactical. Ooh, are those... Penchenko beans? <laughs> Those are mid-tech beans. I know a lot of people are going to freak out about the price tag. That's a mid-tech. Calm down. Those cost a lot more to make. Um, those are very cool, though, for sure. You can have... Um, your choices appear to be Caterpillar Fox, Magikarp, um, Evil Crustacean, and Scholarly Magikarp. So... Uh, <laughs> I, I like, um, I like Serge Penchenko designs and I know a lot of people are super crazy about the, the bean, uh, mid text. So they're sitting there, some custom ones, right? So check those out. Combat beads, drivers. Oh, the urban EDC F 5.5. Let's talk about this. This is actually a nested tie liner. Now it's still expensive, but again, that mystery OEM, heavy quotes. I think I know who it is. I have this knife and it's very nice. And I think a lot of people have this knife and will say the same thing. I can also tell you that they are definitely going to do more of these in titanium. I can't tell you how I know that because I don't want to ruin any surprises, but um, they definitely are going to make more of these in titanium. The F5.5 is probably the best urban EDC supply design that they've ever done. And if you have not handled it, you definitely should. More micro strikes. I just want this knife in a larger size. Monaco, Monaco. No, they got Techno 2s. And we're kind of back here where I've been before and I'm just not, what are these? Thinking Egg. Yes, of course, the thinking egg, <laughs> the holding egg of wisdom as you ponder the great and vast universe. <laughs> I will take jade, please. <laughs> hey, I'm not judging anybody, just, uh, it's fun. What is this? Are these lighters? <laughs> That's cool. For 30 bucks, Tokyo Pipe Co. Douglas Neo Lighter. Whoops, dropped my phone. Hope it's not broken. This is cool, too. I mean, I have no use for a lighter, but it's cool. Leather key sheaths. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. There's a lot of stuff that you just won't see anywhere else. These pine, these Prometheus light, light works. Uh, these things are are super cool too. Okay, check out Urban EC Supply. They have a lot of really awesome stuff, a lot of fun stuff, a lot of humorous stuff. Uh, I think they're pretty self-aware and they know exactly what they're doing here. So if you enjoy this kind of stuff, check this page out. 
let's head over to Crane's Cutlery, where we definitely have, um, this is the place that has some of the most unique Riot exclusives ever. Um, so we're gonna start off here, and this page will also be linked down in the description. This is new, and I don't think a lot of people know about this. This is the Peña Mula, or Mula, which I don't know how to pronounce, in Mocha Thai. So we have Mocha Thai accents, including the backspacer, the thumb studs, the pivot collar, and the pocket clip. So if you're into Peña designs uh, and you like titanium frame locks, you might actually really enjoy that one. That one's hand rub satin made by Riot. It is, we don't know. It's a Peña. So you probably know the size. I'm gonna guess it's about seven and a half inches. Maybe it's a little bigger. We always have more uh, Tashi uh, Barucha. I think, I don't know if I'm pronouncing his name correctly. We have a lot of these floating around here. The XOK that includes the trainer is available here um, in green aluminum or green with a black blade, if you want. Alvin Lee's custom, okay, so there's some custom knives. Um, we also have a Tashi Barucha full custom, the project available here. I think some of the more interesting things would be the, I these are Riot made Jan's EMW, which is a dual bladed frame lock. Um, this should be on the way to me. It was supposed to be on the way a long time ago. So they're saying overall length is 10 inches. I think that's tip to tip because the, the blade length is three inches per side. So you're really looking at about seven and a half inches unless you're going to open it both blades at the same time, which there's no reason to do unless you are waving it around in your living room like an adult idiot. Uh, which is, I know that that's exactly what I'm going to do. I don't know about you guys. That's exactly what I'm going to do. Um, but these are, to the best of my knowledge, Riot made double titanium front flippers. And I think these are in M390. Yeah, right there, M390. There's a bunch of different ones, but that's one of the more interesting things that is out there right now that I definitely have not seen anywhere else. <laughs> we got the Holy Blade, we got the Micarta Blade, we got the Carbon Fiber Blade, we got the Red Carbon, we got this, if you want a Zerka tie version, are you kidding me? <laughs> if you want Zerka tie and Damage Seal, oh my gosh. Honestly, for the materials, that's not a terrible price. I have knives that are arguably the same amount of both materials that were over a grand. Um, so yeah, and I, you know what? I bet that I bet that big inlay. These are Riot Zerkatai inlays, and let me tell you something: those areas that look like they're kind of tan, they are not. They are like gunmetal. That's the Zerkatai, and it's just the reflection of the image. This is some of the most beautiful Zerkatai on earth, and the damascus steel also looks amazing. I'm referring to my Riot Jacks. I have two of them, um, one in Mokotai and one in Zerkatai, and they are gorgeous. Um, they also have Zerkatai pivot collar. This is just just a Zerkatai pivot collar and damascus steel for a little less. I would, if you're gonna go crazy, I would do this one right here. So. Um, let's see here. Let's move on because I believe there's at least one more thing that's fairly interesting here. We still have the Mocha Thai. If you're ever wondering where did Metal Complex get his Mocha Thai, uh, Kickstop Chavez 229. You can't get the ones in Damascus Steel anymore, but you can get one with Mocha Thai Backspacer and Pocket Clip. You're going to have to pay a lot of money for it, but you can get that here at Crane's Cutlery. Um, let's see. No, it's not on this page. We got to keep going. There's no way it's that far back. Dude, Crane's Cutlery, I swear, they have the weirdest layout because watch this. There's no way. What I'm looking for, there's no way it is this old. It's not six bit. Look at the, the mini crossroads. No, that was there months ago. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, wait, are they already gone? <laughs> Dang it. No. No, I thought these were a pre-order. Well, dang it, I was going to surprise everybody. 
out of stock. They must have dropped. Okay, unless I'm wrong, what you guys should do when you're watching this is head over to uh, Crane's Cutlery on um, Instagram. I could have sworn these were going to drop. Tanto L Max, Tanto. I could have sworn these are going to drop, and they might still be about to drop. But these are special versions of the Riot XOM, uh, Bro Micarta, and a bunch of other materials. So if you haven't bought one yet and you don't want a 3V version, you know, if these are still coming, which might be the case, because listen, this is actually how Crane's Cutlery lists things that are going to drop. They list them as out of stock. Um, and then they just sit there until the drop date, which is a bad way to do that. But that is actually the case. So I was trying to crescendo the end of this upload and surprise you guys with something wild and crazy. Um, but uh, I don't actually know that those are still there. In any case, I hope you guys, you know, had, had a few things revealed to you that, you know, either you didn't know existed or you didn't know you might be interested in. Um, like I said, both pages will be linked down in the description. You guys can check them out if you want to. That's going to be pretty much it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on that Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.